How wonderful is death, death and his brother's sleep. One pale as yonder waning moon with lips of lurid blue, the other rosy as the morn when throned on ocean's wave. It blushes o'er the world, yet both so passing wonderful. I'm a birth doula, so uh, I give emotional and physical support to people who are pregnant and during their birth process. Yeah, just trying to help them get the birth that they want. A death doula is someone who uh, builds up a relationship with someone uh, who is aware that they are at the end of their life. There's also a new trend of having woodland burials and having uh, funerals catering to the individual and rather than mass market. Greenacres Woodland Burials was initially set up in Colney in Norwich and it was actually set up by a funeral director. The concept behind it was to allow families to make their own choices, to give them choice and flexibility and to give them time. My job entails a great number of things. I do some grave digging, I do mowing, we do tree felling, we do planting. The idea was also about the circle of life. Um, so how the woodland changes throughout the seasons and it's about death and rebirth. People very much like the oaks in the woodland. Um, we've got three species of oak. We've got English oak, turkey oak and sessile oak. There's also things called death cafes. <laughs> I was completely open-minded when I when I came today. Um, I wasn't didn't know what to expect, um, but I quite embrace um, um, death. Really, I've had lots of different experiences with it, and I really feel it's it's something that should be talked about. But I suppose the main reason for coming wasn't my professional background. It was more to do about I was curious. I was curious what Death Cafe is about and uh, what people would bring to it. I've always got a thing about death anyway because I just think it's going from one place to another. I don't really, I'm, it's not something I'm terribly scared of. For me, the, the nice thing is when you when you talk about this, I think going through the certain journey, certainly with, with mum, you know, there was a certain amount of things that she organised and dad as well, and even my own brother when he passed. Um, there were certain requests that they wanted to have and then there were certain requests that they allowed us to, to sort of, you know, for example, hymns and flowers, etc. Um, but for me, um, I'm going to do my own headstone and put, you know, date not confirmed yet. And I suppose we all come from different walks of life and we all have a different idea of what death means to us. that my grandmother was dying uh, and I put down the phone and I thought okay you know I'll be going over there in a few days or a week maybe for her funeral but something in me just came up very very strongly and I just felt like I had to be there I just kept whispering into her ear that you did your very best granny I know you did your very best and they really love you and uh, finally we were just left with just me and my mother and my grandmother and I asked my mother did she want to say the rosary she nearly fell off her chair at that point <laughs> and uh, so we said the rosary and my grandmother started to squeeze my hand um, it was just it was just so beautiful Thank you.